A 1.5 cents per ounce tax on all artificially sweetened beverages was approved by the Philadelphia City Council on June 16, 2016. This tax was commenced on the 1st of January, 2017. The money is supposed to be going to early childhood education, but many are skeptical. We interviewed teachers, students, and public adults to hear their opinions about the tax. My feelings about the soda tax are I'm actually okay with it because I do not drink a lot of soda. I drink mostly water because that's healthier for you. And I think anything that at lo as long as it goes to education like they say it will, then I'm okay with it. It doesn't really affect me too much. I don't drink a lot of soda, so it doesn't tax water. Um, water, coffee, that's about all I drink, so it doesn't really affect me. I can understand why people are frustrated by it, but it, personally it doesn't affect me. So I am very much in favor of the sugar tax. I voted for Mayor Kenny because I think it's a smart solution to lack of funding for education in a big city like Philadelphia. Well, yes, I do. I, I'm in favor of it, mostly because it will bring money into the school district, which we desperately need. But secondly, because it will discourage people from buying sugary drinks, which we don't need, and especially kids don't need. It's a good thing because the money is going towards school, but it's also a bad thing because we have to pay way more than what we should have to pay. The tax isn't affecting me. Uh, I do believe it is affecting some Philadelphians. Uh, like I said, I, I just drink water most of the time, so I don't see it as a problem. The soda tax is affecting the citizens of Philadelphia in many different ways. For some, it hasn't affected their lives at all. However, for others, it has not only affected their buying habits, but also has created a financial hardship. It's also an inconvenience for the tax to be on soda because some drink it on a daily basis. Right now, it is very hard to tell where the profit is going. Mm, it makes me mad a little bit because it's like I gotta pay way more for sodas and a two liter soda. Uh, I'm kind of split because I do need that. I do. I do know that the, the uh, schools and the city do, do need revenue for things, um, but taxing something that everybody relies on. Um, I think it was just a quick uh, fix for them to get um, more money than they possibly need. I think so, because for me, I know that um, once the sugar tax was like put into effect, I started like looking for healthier alternatives without added sugars and stuff. So, I have to say that I am not in favor of using those kinds of taxes to pay for education. I think education should be something that the citizens of the state pay for. I think it should be going to schools, but by now it should have changed something. I mean, they say it is going to schools and that's where it should be going, but I haven't seen anything happen yet. What I would hope the proceeds are going to is, um, you know, like education is a good cause. And also, the, you know, the sugar tax helps you look for healthier alternatives. However, it does suck because Sometimes you just want your favorite juice and you don't want to pay extra for it. Um, I would like to see where the money's going. So I would like them to maybe give us an update about what exactly is happening to all that money.